Hey, what's up you guys? Hey, thanks for watching these videos once again. And in this video, I wanna tell you how, as a medical student or a pre-medical student, you can get ahead. You can get like years ahead, light years ahead. Cool trick that I learned not too long ago. Uh, two things, two, two places I learned it from. Number one, when I was a third or fourth year resident, somebody came and brought me a bunch of videos and they said, watch these videos. This is learning on steroids. And I think I've, you've probably seen a video of me talking about this before. Uh, I went home and I watched those videos and they were surgery videos and uh, because of the nature of video, which we all know, it, you get a lot more information than just uh, reading. Okay, Reading is kind of like a low level education and seeing and doing and teaching is like the higher levels of education. So I learned these certain operations, the majority of these operations through video, surgical videos, because I already had surgical skill, the skill set to perform these operations, but I didn't have the technique and the uh, steps down. So uh, after a while, you know, you, you learn basic surgical technique, you learn how to do certain things, and then you can apply those techniques to different scenarios, and that's what creates different operations. And then number two, Brian Tracy uh, is a motivational speaker who talks about talk, talks about this concept and that is the concept of basically taking something that you want to learn or some place you want to be say say you want to advance in your job and this doesn't have to apply to medicine at all but it certainly does if you decide that if you're a, a third year medical student and you want to be more ready let's take step one if you are a first year medical student and you know that at the end of year two or close to the end of year two, you're gonna have to take step one uh, of the USMLE and you wanna start preparing for that, then a good way to do that would be probably to um, use this technique, which is to take the time of your commute and get all of that information either on audio or video and listen and interact with that information in your commute time. Now, Brian Tracy talks about uh, getting up an hour early every day to, to take that information and study that information. And that's a good idea too, if you can do that, you can get up an hour early, but you guys are already studying. And what I've found is more, more helpful is to do that on your commute. So if your commute is 10 minutes or 12 minutes or 40 minutes, uh, prepare that information first. The big problem is like, when you try to do this and you try to do it last minute and you're like, oh, in the morning you're on your way to work or school or whatever and you're like, oh, I gotta get my information or together or I gotta, like, which uh, track am I gonna do? You need to set this all up before. So, so first of all, you gotta get the information that you want. So if it's step one, you want all the audio um, and or video stuff that you can get or material that you plan on covering in one place and put it in an mp3 or mp4 or whatever and have that in a specific place every time you know where it is every time you go to your commute whatever whatever that means and then you can you can play that each time and when you get in say for for instance uh you know when i get in my car I have a specific book that I'm going to listen to, and right now it is uh, The House of God, which is f***ing amazing. It's about an intern. This guy, as in his intern year, when in like the 70s, and you have to read that. Uh, I will put a link in this video for that. So I plug in my phone, The House of God starts playing, and I listen to it for however long my commute is. To, uh, sometimes it's 10 minutes, and sometimes it's 30 minutes. So over time, I'll get that book done and it'll, it'll be done in like a week or so. If you do this, the point, of, the point of this video is if you do this over a long period of time, and actually it's about two years, you get way more ahead of everybody else. Because most people just take that time of their commute to just dick around and do nothing and, and you know, do mindless shit and listen to the radio. You know, sometimes I, I do listen to the radio, but I just, it's the same thing all the time. These guys trying to make stupid jokes. They're not really that funny. You, you listen to some music, but most of the time it's fucking ads and all this bullshit. I mean, it's sort of a waste of your time, and it's a waste of, you know, I mean, waste of brain power, you know. The third point, I think I made two. The third point 
is if you can do repetition. So for me, repetition was the key to really medical school. And, and um, I could read stuff one time, but sometimes I understood it, but I didn't remember it. And if I could basically, I, what I would read it, I would take notes on it, and then I would go back over my notes. And then as I took notes, I, I would be able to take less and less notes on those notes. And then pretty soon it's just repetition of very short phrases and then you end up remembering the whole thing. If you can do that, that's great. If you can't take notes on those audio or, vid or videos, that's okay too. If you can just go back over them. Uh, for step one, for me, the repetition really helped because I would just do the questions. And after a while, even though you'd go through 800, 1,000, 2,000 questions, and that's a lot of questions, but you would eventually start seeing repetition of the concepts, and repetitions of the answers, and repetitions of the wrong answers. That's very important too. So all those things help. Take the time. If it's not your commute, at least the downtime, whatever, find the downtime in your day that you have and that you're not using or that you're bullshitting around and use it to, to be like passive learning because the reading and sometimes, you know, watching videos and taking notes is, is a really an active thing. But if you can do it passively and get that into a habit every day, the same time, same place, then you will you know, accelerate your learning and then if you have time that do that as a rep repetitive process, then you'll become way, way more ahead than everybody else. Fucking easy. That's what you want medical school to be. You know why? Because residency is hard as fuck. Med school is a drop in the bucket. And college is even easier. Unfortunately, myself, I thought college was hard, and then you got to med school and you go, holy shit, this is really hard. And then you get to residency and you go, uh, this is a whole nother planet of hard. So get used to that shit. You'll love it though. It's good. It, as long as you like the stuff, it's really interesting. Residency is hard as fuck, but it's also uh, really amazing. So, hey, thank you guys very much again for watching these videos. You guys are awesome. And I don't know, maybe you should like or comment on these videos or even subscribe to my channel. Take it easy. <laughs>